Today on Sack of Fed Food, we are going to beautiful Millbrook, Ontario to visit Red Mill Farm to see how maple syrup is made. So join me today as Sebastian and Jeremy show us how to make their beautiful, delicious maple syrup. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Um, I'm Jeremy from, like Roma said, Red Mill Maple Syrup. And um, we're gonna show you around our evaporator, um, how, we, how we boil the syrup, all the steps that go into the syrup. And then we're obviously gonna show you the lovely, lovely finished product and Roma's gonna be able to, to try it and uh, see, and, and see if uh, our, our product uh, passes the approval. So yeah, it, it'll, be a, it, it'll be a fun day. First, Jeremy is going to show us how they get sap from the maple tree. Lots of uh, time and effort that goes into uh, making this product, right? So uh, you see all our trees, all our trees are hooked up um, with a pipeline. So how do we identify a maple tree? How do we know that this is a maple tree? Well, you need to, most of the time I just, you know by the bark, like it's more of like a silvery, um, it's got lots of uh, texture and everything. But in the summer, it's really easy to identify since you can just see the maple leaves. And this is a sugar maple, okay? And how we know how many holes we can drill in this specific tree is that every eight inches in diameter, you can have one tap, so one hole. So you can see this tree is more than, more than eight inches in diameter. One spile hooked up here, and we also have one spile hooked up here. So we have two, we have two spiles, right? For the sap to start flowing and we can collect it, it needs to be uh, warm during the day and cold during the night. The optimum temperature would be minus five at night and then five during the day. So today, because it's like minus four outside, um, it's not running at all. Even you can see that the lines are, the lines are frozen, right? Like there's, there's sap in there, but all the sap is frozen. So nothing, nothing can be running. We're just boiling the uh, sap that we collected from last weekend because last weekend was really good weekend, really nice, and the sap stayed fresh because it's really cold outside. That's the new school way of collecting the sap, would be with this pipeline. Old school way, right? You have a bucket, and you got a lid, and you've got a spile, stainless steel preferably, right? Um, but you can see that we we filled up this tank full of, full of sap, and it froze over, so it's, it's uh, you can see this, you can see the sap now Jeremy is going to show us how to tap a tree. All right, so we find find a place to drill a hole. So drill a hole. All right, we have a spile. And your hammer. And you just wanna, this is a demo log, right? So nothing's gonna come out. <laughs> you wanna tap, tap it in. Your bucket. You don't want to. You don't want to give yourself any extra work or any any mice that fall in there as well. There's mice drown in this. So that's how you tap a old school way. How to tap a maple tree, right? Roma, do you want to taste the sap? Maybe you can have you try the sap. I can okay. go pour it in a. In a pot. Yeah. So this is the pure maple sap, and I'm just going to try that. Oh wow, it's like sugar water. It tastes almost like sugar cane, like sugar cane juice. It's really good. Our next stop is the osmosis machine. So this is our reverse osmosis. This takes the sap that's at like one to three percent sugar and brings it up to I think yeah seven point two. So the sap is at the sap is is at seven point two percent sugar content. Um, and this is just a fancy machine. It basically makes distilled water. So you'll have a distilled water in one in where we we throw it out, and then the other one would be sap that's at like eight percent sugar, right? So there's a lot that actually goes into producing that delicious maple syrup that oh, yeah. we all love so much. Yeah. Our next stop is the evaporator where Sebastian shows us around. Yeah, that's the wood shed. So we use 
about just under 20 face cords of uh, wood per year. Wow. So at the end of the spring, that's going to be all, that's going to be empty. Wow. Yeah, so it starts like around end of February, beginning of March, and uh -huh. usually mid-April is pretty much done. Okay. Yeah. We're still in the dormant season, right? Uh -huh. So as soon as it gets too warm, the, the bud's going to crack. Oh, right okay. for the for the leaf to come out right yeah so as soon as the bud cracks the sap's gonna take the flavor of the bud and bring it down and that's when the, the season's over because the syrup's gonna taste kind of sour okay um, and then this is a holding tank where we have the uh we have the concentrate i'll show you inside so you can see this is the concentrate of maple sap so you can see it has like sort of like a yellow yellowish tint uh since this one is is the sap that went through the reverse osmosis um it's got about eight percent sugar content in there this is uh this is called the float box so the sap we have a tank right here and the sap comes in from here goes in the float box and then once the float box is always at the same kind of level right so that's how it regulates how much sap goes in so this is where the concentrated sap is cooked and turns into maple syrup. It's like a big oven. So imagine, like, that you could cook pizza. Here. I know, I was thinking that. It's like yeah. a wood oven. No. See, it's really, really hot. So. You could cook a pizza in here. It's really, really hot. You can see. Yeah, hopefully this, well this is not when it's finished, it's still okay. unfiltered, okay. so we need to filter it after that. So um, once the, uh, once we get enough syrup that we can uh, basically fill the whole thing up, we're going to go get the filter and filter it out. Yeah, how much do you think one of these weighs? One of these? Yeah. When it's full? When it's full, yeah. Let me see. It doesn't say it on there, it says oh. when, when it's empty. Yeah, I think it's probably 100 pounds. When it's full, 300. When it's full, this one weighs about 500 to 600. Oh, wow. Maple syrup is way more concentrated than water. Maple syrup is at 66% sugar content, so 66 degree bricks. Uh, so it weighs a lot more than water because water is at 0% sugar right. content. So it weighs 66 times more than water. Once we filter it and everything, we fill up these barrels and then these barrels go down. We go down, uh, we have like a kitchen downstairs and that's where we heat up everything. Um, and bottle it. Syrup is ready. Well, it's at 218. Well, it's more than 218 now, but automatically the valve opens up and this the syrup is uh, is ready, right? And then we need to filter it. So syrup's ready and coming out. Uh, yeah. So this is the first syrup for the year. We're gonna try that. Mmm. Wow. That's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's That's a, my life. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Next, Jeremy is going to take us to the shop where we're going to try all the different maple products. So you can see this is a golden maple syrup. You can. Oh, yeah. See how it's really light and delicate. This is dark. Okay. So you see, this is more more robust butterscotch caramel caramel finish. This more vanilla, really light, delicate maple flavor. Okay. In between, you have amber, which is this one's more like your all-purpose. You see the difference? Golden and amber. This one's more like just just developed maple flavor. The dark is more of caramel butterscotch, mm -hmm. and this one's more like a just a nice, just nice, really light. This one's our rye barrel aged maple syrup. So maple syrup that's been aged in whiskey barrels. Um, okay. So this one's got a nice sing to it. Cinnamon infused maple syrup. So oh, maple nice. syrup that's got a cinnamon stick inside. Okay. Um, and this one's really good on a oatmeal, French toast. Mm -hmm. I need your most honest oh, yeah. opinion. So this is our maple butter. So. You can see, you can try that. Well, maple butter, yeah, that's good. 
There's only one ingredient in there. It's maple maple syrup. That's it? Yep, only maple syrup. There's no oh, butter, wow. no dairy. This is really good. Really, really good. That's good, right? It's like soft candy. Yeah. Sort of, uh, that's really good if you're like icing like muffins. Uh, mm -hmm. Like it's a all natural icing, I call it. So that's let's say what you it tastes like. do like cake or yes. stuff like that. We could use that on a carrot cake. So this one's infused with uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon kind of cuts through the, uh, kind of cuts through the sweetness. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a maple butter too with cinnamon. Yeah. I love it on like Oh, apples. that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's really good. You can taste the cinnamon. I like the other one. It's very smooth, very creamy. It's like melted cinnamon candy. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. So this is aronia berry jam. It does not taste at all close to like strawberry jam or raspberry jam. It's really got a distinct taste. You can try that and let me know what you think. Oh. It's nice, it's not too sweet. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, it's got like a, a little tart. Yeah, little tartness that's, that cuts that's through the nice, yeah. It cuts through the, the, the sweetness sweet. yeah. of the maple. Yeah, it's a perfect balance. Yeah. Yeah. It's really yeah. good. I'll have you try our special whiskey barrel aged maple syrup. Wow. That is nice. Right? It's yeah. got a little zinc. That, yeah. Right? Compared to like instead of being super sweet, oh, it has I a little, really, really like little this bitter one. bitter zing to it, you know? Yeah. Oh this is nice. Mm. And it's very smooth. It's almost like a creamy, smooth taste. Dark maple syrup, so it's more of like a caramel butterscotch oh, okay. kind of kind of taste. It's nice. They're they're all good, it's, it's all nice. personal. It's a preference. little different. Yeah. It's really good. Really this is this would be nice on like ice cream, like a nice uh, yeah. French vanilla ice cream with strawberries. Yeah, I'm happy that I have the approval. Of yeah, Oberon that is sure. good. Jeremy, thank you so much yeah. for having us over, and I had a really good time trying all those beautiful maple things. And guys, this was great. We had a really good day. I'm looking forward to doing more of this type of stuff in the future. Thank you so much, Roma, for coming. And you got a, the person behind the camera is absolutely amazing as well. And uh, yeah, we're, we'll, we're, I'm happy to be featured on this episode of uh, Seca Fit Food. So thank you so much for coming, Roma. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now let's get some maple goodies. Oh, yeah. <laughs>